most beautiful but strange flowers in the world. Bleeding Heart The bleeding heart flower, especially in its bud form called Lampricopnos, looks like a heart shape with a droplet underneath. That's why it's named Bleeding Heart, its outer petals are bright pink. As it blooms, the inner white parts called Lady Inner Bath become more visible. Its plant grows in Siberia, northern China, Korea, and Japan. For some, bleeding hearts symbolize sorrow and lost love. For others, it is a symbol of beauty and positive energy. Bloom colors are often associated with positive energy, love, friendship, and warmth at home. There is a dark side to this beauty, the flowers are poisonous. All parts of the plant are poisonous if ingested. Even so, Bleeding Hearts received the Royal Horticultural Society's Award of Garden Merit. Bleeding Hearts grow in edge areas where there is access to water and dappled sunlight to shade. In some areas, direct sun will damage the blooms and retard plant growth. Wild Bleeding Hearts grow to be 18 inches tall. Typical height is around 12 inches. Some new introductions can get to be nearly 3 feet tall. Parrot Flower The parrot flower, from the impatience family, has amazing purple and calm and red petals. When you look at it from the side, the flowers resemble a parrot in flight. British botanist Sir Joseph Dalton Hooker first described it in 1901, noting how its bloom looks like a flying cockatoo. Despite its orchid-like appearance, the parrot flower is a balsam, an annual cup-shaped flower that grows on thick, upright stems. This particular species comes from the forests of Southeast Asia, including those in North Thailand, Myanmar and Northeastern India, and produces flowers that look like parrots caught mid-flight. So much so, in fact, that many people thought the original pictures of them had been photoshopped. With their reddish-purple petals representing the body, a light green hook, and a lower sepal serving as a beak, each blossom is a joy to look at, but the plant itself is more akin to a weed. Parrot flowers are a rare and protected species, only blooming for a few weeks annually between October and November. Hooker's Lips Hooker's Lips, scientifically known as Psychotria elata, is a tropical plant native to rainforests in Costa Rica, Ecuador, and other Central and South American countries. The most eye-catching part of the plant is its beautiful pair of red bracts that look like luscious lips, from where the plant acquires its common name. Its gorgeous and distinctive shape helps the plant attract pollinators such as hummingbirds and butterflies. People in Central America gift the plant to their family and friends to show their love, especially on Valentine's Day. Its bark and leaves are also used by locals to treat several diseases including skin irritation. However, the plant is slowly vanishing due to deforestation and climate change. Hence, this rare plant species needs special care and protection so we don't have to kiss it goodbye. Ballerina Orchid The Ballerina Orchid Scientifically known as Caladenia melanema Caladenia is genus of 350 species of plants in the orchid family growing mostly in the Australian region. Ballerina orchid named so because of its uncanny resemblance with a ballerina figure. The red-black parts are actually the sepals on the flower with one dorsal sepal being erect. The white and red parts make up the petals arranged like the lateral sepals, which adds on to its structural resemblance with a ballerina. The lower sepal act like delicate scampering legs. The head area is the label on which acts as grounds for pollination, on its sides are present white teeth like structures. This flower looks like a tiny ballerina with a beautiful pink to white gown and in a graceful ballet pose. How beautiful can God's creation be? These plants bloom August to mid-September. This kind of an orchid is extremely rare. This plant grows only on Lake Altham in Mal Biogeographic region. The grazing of rabbits and kangaroos in the regions where they grow pose great threat to these orchids. Duck Orchid Carolana is commonly referred to as the duck orchid, this is because the label on looks just like a flying duck with its wings raised high. The lip, in particular, looks clearly like the beak of a duck, the flower is reddish-brown in color, and in rare cases, it is greenish with dark spots, and a single leaf appears near the base of the stalk. This small terrestrial orchid is found in Australia, from Queensland to South Australia and even Tasmania. The complex flowers have evolved to attract male sawflies, which are tricked into thinking the plants are female sawflies. The insects are actually trapped by the beak of the plant, 
forcing the unsuspecting sawfly to pass through the pollen as it exits from the trap. Although the sawfly may not intend to be a pollinator for flying duck orchid plants, it plays a critical role in the survival of this orchid. Flying duck orchid plants are so unique that the plants were featured on Australian postage stamps, along with other beautiful orchids endemic to that country. country. Unfortunately, the plant is also on Australia's vulnerable plant list, due primarily to habitat destruction and a decrease in the numbers of critical pollinators. Snapdragon and its skull. The Antirrhinum, found in the rocky areas of Europe, America, and North Africa, has an interesting flower called the dragon flower, or snapdragon. The beautiful flower petals give the impression of the face of a dragon, which, when squeezed, will open and close like the mouth. But once the petals wither and fall off, only the seed part is left behind, presenting quite a macabre look. Because the seed pod looks like a skull, ancient cultures believed snapdragons to have supernatural powers. In folklore, snapdragons were thought to offer protection from witchcraft and aging. This may have come from the shape of the plant's dry seed pod, which bears an eerie resemblance to a miniature skull. Also according to folklore, carrying a hidden snapdragon would make the bearer appear charming and gracious. Antirrhinum magus, common snapdragon, is a species of flowering plant belonging to the genus Antirrhinum. It was used traditionally as a diuretic, for treatment of scurvy, liver disorders, and tumors. The leaves and flowers were used as antiphlogistic, resolvent, stimulant, and as poultices on tumors and ulcers. Monkey Orchid Dracula simia, also known as the monkey-like Dracula, is an orchid that grows on other plants for support. It was first thought to belong to the Mastivalia group but was later placed in the Dracula group. Its flowers look like a monkey's face, with the column, petals, and lip arranged to resemble it. The plant blooms throughout the year with multiple flowers appearing one after another on the same stem, these flowers smell like ripe oranges. The monkey orchid originally comes from Ecuador but can also be found in parts of Colombia and Peru. Unfortunately, these orchid species are not only hard to come by but apparently could be impossible to grow in typical environments. According to experts, these exceptional orchid plants only thrive naturally in the cloud forests of southeastern Ecuador and Peru, from elevations of 1,000 to 2,000 meters. Aside from its unique appearance, the monkey-faced orchid is also famous for the sweet fruity fragrance it gives off when it's in full bloom, reminding you of, no, not bananas, ripe and juicy oranges. Sadly, this orchid is currently at risk of disappearing forever. Swaddled Babies the swaddled baby's orchid is a small type of orchid that grows to about 18 to 24 inches tall, it has conical pseudobulbs just below its thin, pleated leaves. But the most special part of this orchid is its flower, which looks like a baby wrapped snugly in a cloth. The flowers are surprisingly large compared to the size of the plant, they come in creamy white or completely white colors and feel waxy. These flowers also have a strong, pleasant smell, they usually bloom in the springtime. The angular uniflora, commonly known as swaddled babies, thrives in the Colombian Andes, its large, creamy white flowers have a waxy texture and a complex structure. As they open, they bear a striking resemblance to a baby wrapped in swaddling cloth, blooming individually from the base of the pseudobulb. 